For me, it's the fact that um, achievement is not narrowly defined in the academic sense. Um, if you think about the school's adopted Brown Square ideals ethos, you know, internationalism, democracy, environmentalism, etc., it makes it possible for me and other students to achieve in a range of ways and not about just getting good grades. Um, for example, I was very keen to develop my le leadership skills from a very young age and uh, it was possible for me to then run for the student president role, the um, spot house captain role, etc. Um, also because of the school's outdoor facilities, um, that also made me make it possible for me and other students to go and uh, become adventurous and develop our sense of adventure as well. I think the regions did, and I strongly believe still does, provide these wonderful opportunities for students to become a well-rounded person. So um, for my undergrad degree, I did a teacher training um, program in London, um, and that gave me qualified teacher status or QTS, which um, is a requirement if you want to teach in um, schools, state schools in, in England. Um, right after my graduation, I then received um, an offer from Oxford University um, to uh, read my master's degree in um, comparative and international education. So the focus on that degree um, was on critically comparing and contrasting various educational aspects of various countries. And um, after my graduation at Oxford, I was very fortunate um, to have received another offer um, from Cambridge University and also um, a generous scholarship from the university for me to pursue my doctoral research as well. And the focus of my PhD was on exploring teachers' belief about the nature of mathematics and their belief about mathematics teaching and learning. So um, all in all, uh, my education path has been uh, truly a labour of love but um, I enjoy every minute of it. It's hard work, it's, it's very hard work, but also very rewarding as well. Um, I also think that my time at Oxford and Cambridge has taught me to be humbled. The fact that um, you are constantly surrounded by highly intelligent people who are very passionate and driven to do well in their various areas of expertise make you stop and evaluate yourself in relation to them. And I think that's when you realise that there's still a lot that you don't know. And I think that's when you kind of think, oh, you know, am I good enough? And I think that experience, as I mentioned before, has taught you to be humbled. But at the same time, I think because of that very fact, it made you want to work even harder because you, you aspire to be as good or nearly as good as those people. For the past four years, I have been working as a lecturer in primary mathematic education at the um, University of Reading in the UK. Um, I train primary teacher trainees to become mathematics specialists. I um, also supervise postgraduate research students as well as do my own research as well. Um, this role can be very challenging in a sense that it requires you to multitask, taking on several roles at the same time. I think the region helped me to prepare for this career by providing um, a demanding learning environment where not only students can excel academically, but one where they are also encouraged to take on other roles as well. For example, as I mentioned before, student president role, spot house captain role, etc. And I think by taking on these extra roles, you develop your ability to multitask and prioritize. So I think the regions has prepared me well. I set up the Math Through Stories All project in hope to help teachers and parents globally to learn more about an approach that I truly believe can make mathematic learning not only more effective, but also more enjoyable. The website contains the world's largest online database of over 500 recommendations for what I call mathematical story picture books, and it covers 
over 40 mathematical topics. Since the launch of the website in spring 2017, the website has now been viewed over 90,000 times by teachers and parents from over something like 130 countries globally. The website also features findings of my latest research projects, for example, my examining gender representation in mathematical story picture book. Make the most of your time at the Regents to fulfill the Round Square Ideals ethos um, because ultimately Round Square's Ideals ethos is what we do at the Regents, it's at the heart of what we do at the Regents. Um, by trying to fulfill those various pillars of the ethos, it would help to make you become a well-rounded person, not to mention how it would also give you plenty of materials to talk about on your university admission application as well.